Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with us playing Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch, on the Sony PlayStation 3. Last time, we made our way through the deep dark woods and took on the Guardian of the Woods in order to, uh, well, get him back to his, uh, guardianing duties, because I guess Shadar decided to screw him up. So we whacked some sense into him, uh, I failed my chance to get to a Golden Glim, but oh well. So, now we're gonna head our way back to Ding Dong Go, so we can actually advance to the plot, or... I guess we have been advancing the plot, so we can actually, you know, get into the plot some more. So let's get let's get that done. Uh, there are a few items that we can grab here, including this piece of supple leather, which we're not going to be able to use for a little while. But oh well, it's useful enough. All right, let's see what else can we grab around here. Um, yeah, I, I figured we might as well grab some of these. I mean, there's a there's a few we can grab. I mean, there's not a whole bunch, but uh, let's see. There's a few other things we can we can pick up here, I guess. Um, let's see. If we head mostly straight down to... where is it? I think it's, uh, let's see... About two tree thingies down. We should be able to... Find some more stuff here. As long as this guy doesn't try to clobber me here. Let's see, it should be... Let's see, is this it right here? Or is it a little further down? It might be... Uh, yeah, I think it's a little further down. Unless we already got it. Nope, go away. Let me just make sure, because I know it's around here somewhere. Unless we already got it, in that case, I might have just, uh... You might just be wasting your time. Who knows? Or I could be looking in the wrong spot. That's always a possibility. Uh, let's see, we want to go... Well, we want to get out of these guys' line of sight first. Um, Alright, there we go. We want to go right up here. Damn it, you little shit. These little frickers. Stop chasing me around everywhere, dude. Watch this. Luckily, we can just uh, pretty much one-shot these with our, uh, with our Smitey here. And we can just uh, go for a good old... Well, we could go for a cut loose if I had any MP, but oh well. But either way, they're not taking a lot of uh, hits right now. Just one or two, and they're out like a light. So it makes your life nice and easy, like. Now, if they'd be happy to just uh, stop pestering me so I can try to find what I'm trying to get here, that'd be magnificent. Um, let's see, it is... Ah, it's right up here, I think. Um... Yeah, it's like right up here. Uh, let's see, where is it? Ah, ah, we almost got him. Little bastard heard me from like two inches away. Come on! Oh, we did get him. Okay, nice. So yeah, they're not gonna be able to do anything for a few seconds, so we'll be able to just uh, clobber them real fast. Nice and easy, like. I was hoping you guys would drop some MP glims for me, but oh well. I actually found a golden glim off screen, uh, just in a random fight. I guess I got a lucky critical hit or something, but I didn't. I wasn't able to use it because uh, it appeared pretty much uh, right at. Ooh, three loaves of bread, nice. Wait, is that supposed to be three or is that something else? Um, huh? I thought it was supposed to be just the one. Okay, well, there we go. We got three loaves of bread there. Nice. But yeah, uh, I got it just as I was finishing the fight, so it was still floating in midair, and I couldn't really do it. And even if I did get it, all it would have done was restore me at full health, and I'm already at full health, so... Oh well. Alright, uh, there is... Uh... If we go down to to the uh, southwest right here, yeah, southwest, uh, kind of where that, um, that big clump of trees right there is, uh, there's a forage point, but there's nothing really great there, or... It's not hidden treasure, it's just a forage point. So I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, let's see, what else can we grab here? We're mostly done, actually. Um, I think I already got that one. I think I got most of these. So let's just head back to the castle, then. Wait, did I already get that one? Alright, yeah, let's just head back to the castle. So if these guys don't try to follow me from forever away. Let's see, where is the castle? We are on the wrong... Ah, there it is. Way over there. Eh, it's not too far of a walk. Far enough, but oh well, we'll, we'll live. 
see if any of these harvest points reset. Yes, they have. So let's grab a couple of these. Let's leave the Ouroboros alone, because he's not going to... Yeah, see, we're a little higher level now, so some of the enemies are actually going to run away. There are some enemies that no matter what level you are, they're just going to charge at you. Like the roughs down there, they're pretty much always going to try to attack you. These little guys right here, the Ouroboros, the higher level you are, the more chance of them just running away. Sometimes. But yeah, you could be like level 99, and the roughs, they would see you and still try to and still try to charge your ass. So, some of them just can't wait to die, I guess. Any, uh, MP glimpse? No? Eh, health, I guess. Oh well. We'll live. And more iced coffee for our mana. Very nice. Um, I already got that. There was one other thing I was trying to find around here, and that's pretty much it. Um, ah, there we go. Let's go... Let's go off to the side of uh, Ding Dong Dell here, I think. Actually, let me make sure. Let me make sure I'm in the right actual area. Yeah, we're in the... Okay, yeah, there we go. Um, I'm not sure if we can get it from this side, but we might be able to. Where our destination is that little waterfall in the uh, right next to the castle right there. I'm not sure if we got to be on this side or the other side to grab it. Hey, let's kill this guy too. Why not? Any, uh, no? Oh, I forgot to, I forgot to equip my, whatchamacallit, my, my, uh, trick. Let's see, let's go, see, if you go to your, what is it, your friends and familiars, go to your might, go to tricks with the triangle button, and we can put a new skill in the slot right there for blinding. I'm not going to be using that too much, so I'm just going to go ahead and just actually take it out. So I'm not too worried about that. So we'll just leave that alone for right now. I mean, sometimes it's useful, but yeah. I'm more of a just uh, clobber your ass type of guy. Let's do it. Here goes. Poke, stab, die. Too easy. Yeah, the beginning of the game is not really that bad. I just died because I was an idiot. I mean, it's not like healing items are going to be hard to come by. I just didn't... I just didn't want to use it, that's all. And there we go, we got a wooden sword. So if you didn't... If you somehow missed the uh, well-worn sword, or you just didn't feel like getting it, because you didn't feel like going the extra, like, three feet out of your way, you could get that wooden sword. Uh, that is not as good as your well-worn sword, obviously. Um, it's a three attack power versus a six attack power. So yeah, the... Um, well-worn sword, much better. The, uh, I mean, I, I, and they're both acceptable, I guess, if you don't have any other way of, uh, dealing damage, but oh well. Alright, let's actually go back into Ding Dong Dell and see if we can't cure that guard of his broken heartedness. I, li I like the look of the town. It's got, it's got a little, uh, windmill on top of the actual castle part down there. Uh, let's see, it's got some fishes. It's just a nice little town. I like it. I think they're fishes, at least that's what they look like to me. Looks like he's still the worse for wear, huh? Mr. Drippy, we have to help him. Right though, Ollie boy, I better explain how it's done then, innit? First thing you'll need to do is to take the locket Treeface gave you and fill it with the piece of heart our friend is missing. Uh, the piece of heart? That's right. One of the bits we're all made up of deep down. The bits we're made up of? I don't understand. Hmm. How can I put it? Ah, just give it a go. You'll soon work it out, man. First off, what that guard's missing uh, is a drop of good old-fashioned enthusiasm. Uh, Find some and give it to him and he'll be right as rain. Okay, but... Where do I find enthusiasm? Well now, feast your eyes on that other guard there. He's got more get up and go than a sack of squirrels. If he hasn't got some enthusiasm to spare, I'm a monkey's uncle. Ask nicely and I'm sure he'll give you a lend of it. Sure, I'll try my best. 
All right, so let's see if any. Let's before we talk to uh, the monkey's uncle over here. Let's see if any of the other characters, uh, little guys, have anything to say. I don't think they have too much. Oh dear, I do hope they let us in soon. Oh, I, she says the same thing. Okay, I think they're all saying the same thing actually. Wait, they've got to let us in. Mother will go spare from late again. Is that chick still checking you out there, dude? No. No. Who who was the guy that was being checked out? Was it you? Yeah. Okay. All right, so you don't seem that bad off right now. Oh, well, I guess. All right, let's talk to this guy. Uh, excuse me, sir. I wonder if you could do us a favor. I wish I could. I really do. But I'm afraid I can't open this gate without my colleague's permission. Again, I don't see why you can't do that, but oh well. Oh, no, it's not that. We just want to borrow some of your enthusiasm. Haha. -ha. Well, if it's enthusiasm you're after, I've got plenty to spare. Take as much as you want. Thank you, sir. Uh, Mr. Drippy, how do I get the enthusiasm out of his uh, heart? Look at the pages old Treeface gave you for your book, innit? It's a spell called Take Heart you need to cast first. Take Heart, huh? Sure. Alright, so let's uh, go for our Take Heart spell here. Looks like you've got yourself a locket full of enthusiasm. Now, you've just got to give it to our friend over by there. Okay, here goes. Alrighty, not bad. I just realized uh, their spears, the tips, are shaped like fish. I'm not sure if that's uh, a cover for the actual blade of the spear. But that's pretty cool, actually. Huh, I never noticed that when I was watching the other videos that I saw of this game. Anyways, let's go to over to our friend here. I don't think it'll let us do we actually I think we actually have to talk to him. So we need to give this guard the enthusiasm we got from his friend, huh? That's right, Ollie boy. The spell you'll need this time is give heart, ain't it? I know it sounds just like the other one, but don't get them mixed up, whatever you do. Don't worry, Mr. Drippy. Give heart is the one for repairing broken hearts. I'll remember that. Now, when you cast give heart, you'll need to choose a piece of heart you want to restore from your locket. Of course, you've only got one in there at the moment, so even you can't mess this up. Go on then, give that guard his enthusiasm back. All right, here goes. All right, so let's pop out our Give Heart spell. Yeah, we don't want to take any more heart from this guy because I don't think he has a whole lot left to take. So, there we go. And yeah, eventually we'll be getting other, um, well, essences of heart. But for now, we've only got enthusiasm. The distilled spirit to get up and go. So this is for this guy. Like he's back in the land of the living. What's happening? Where am I? Well, 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 you're back with us, I see. Yes, I feel so strange, as if a weight has been lifted from my heart. I feel better. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I was worried about you. I'm sorry, I wasn't myself. But I'm back now, and ready to work harder than ever. Well then, these fine people have all come to visit our great kingdom. I think we'd better let them in. Indeed we had. <laughs> this way, everybody. I can't thank you enough, but I'm sure you... Damn it. I can't thank you enough, but I'm sure you'll receive your fair share of merit stamps for performing such a heroic feat. Merit stamps? What are those? You mean you helped me without even thinking of the merit stamps you'd earn? You do have a merit stamp card, don't you? They're used to collect stamps award for helping those in need. If you don't have one, you should visit Swift Solutions in town and pick one up. Listen to me rabbiting on. I have to get this gate open. That's what you're waiting for, isn't it? Yes, please, sir. Tidy, we can finally go inside. Ding Dong Dell, the Cat King's Castle. We're finally here. We're finally in Ding Dong Dell. Indeed we are, Ollie boy. There were a few unseen snags in the way, I'll admit. But all's well that ends well. And I was going to take you to see old Treeface eventually, anyways. 
Righto, on with the wand hunt. The king of this place knows a spell or two. Let's see if he can help us out. Help us, shall we? A real life king? Sure. I guess that means we should head for that big old palace over there, huh? Can we uh, do a first person view here? Uh, I guess we can't see the palace from here. I was going to actually look for it, but oh well. Oh look, there's, there, there's most of the people that were waiting outside. At last, I just hope the Hootiek hasn't sold out of the things I need. Yay, pee pee time. Okay, so you can, you can take a leak on this tree over here, but the tree outside just wasn't good enough for you? Is that what you're trying to say, kid? Oh well. Alright. Oh dear, I'm very late. Mother won't be best pleased about this. Finally, I thought they'd never let us in. How you doing there, Mr. Enthusiasm now? Thank you for your help. I don't think I've ever felt so full of life. My colleague's back to normal now, thank goodness. Alright, so let's uh, just get on in here, and we'll talk to some of these people a little later. For right now, let's just uh, let's just get on up to wherever it is we need to go, which is over there. So, I don't think we can take on too many uh, side quests just yet. We might be able to, but I'm going to ignore them for just a moment. And over here we got five guilders. Uh, much like uh, foraging points outside, a lot of these uh, like chests that you've, or pots you find in towns will respawn so you can get more stuff out of them. Like, you can come back here and you'll get five guilders again. Come on, Mun, what are you thinking? We'll never get to the palace if we go that way. I guess we can't go that way then. Turned out nice again, didn't it, Chuck? Jeepers. It's so different. Stop staring, man. It's rude. But look at those goofy clothes. Goofy? Are you blind? You are the goofy one around these parts. Huh? Ah, look at his funny clothes. Oh, it huh? oh, really looks so strange. Just strange isn't it? Cranky, we better get you a new outfit before they put you in the zoo. Come on, Ollie boy. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, Ollie boy, but no matter how trendy they are over in Motorville, your clothes are just plain out of place over by here. Are they really so strange? Well, this is all I have. They will just have to buy you some more, won't we? There's loads of shops here in Ding Dong Dell, Mon. One of them must sell clothes, ain't it? I guess. Okay, let's go find a store where I can buy a new outfit. Let's see. Uh. Yeah, we still can't do anything like side quest wise. So our new destination is going to be that little star shop right over there. So let's go there. Um, remember this area for, well, very soon because this will be a reasonably important area to come back to. And again, pretty much everything around here is reasonably important at some point or another. Alright, so let's go in this shop right here that kind of looks like an owl. Um, yeah, let's just go in here. I'll say a little more about it after we get through in here, I guess. Let's see. Ooh, there's another one of those uh, blue treasure chests. But we still can't get that, so I'm not too worried about that yet. Eh, let's see. Anything uh, over here? No? There's no hidden treasures like, um, like out in the overworld in towns. Uh, those are all just in the overworld areas. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you sell clothes from this world? Uh, I mean, do you sell regular clothes? Clothes, dear? Oh, hoot. I'm afraid we don't have any in stock at the moment. Don't tell us that, Mun. Have you seen how the boy is dressed? He's a flippin' embarrassment. He's getting funny looks wherever we go. My street cred is in ruins. Who? A fairy. By the way, uh, her name is Hootenanny. And in case you couldn't tell from the outside, uh, this place specializes in owl puns. She even kind of looks like an owl. A little bit. She's got the wide glasses and the little beak nose and everything. So yeah, pretty much uh, uh, all the shops are going to have their own little uh, flavor. I mean, there's, I mean, the Ho the Hootenanny store. This is called the Hootique, actually. Um, there's going to be one of these in every in every town, and it's going to be the same same looking little old lady, and they're going to have the same little puns. But so all, all the stores have their own little puns, and they're all spread out across all the various towns you'll visit. So I, I think it's pretty nice. I like it. Plus, it's a nice little area in here. Anyways, 
I used to see your kind all the time, but I'll bet children these days don't even know who you are. You're telling me. Kids these days, man. Disrespectful, and ignorant, downright rude. Gee, sounds kind of just like you there, Drippy. They wouldn't know a fairy if he kicked them in the sh flippin' shins. Not like you, eh, missus? Now about these clothes. Yes, dear. Who? Let me think now. Ah, now I come to think of it. There was a traveler who left a set of clothes here once upon a time. He would brought a new outfit, you see, so he left his old one behind. Roughly human-shaped, is it? And cheap, I shouldn't doubt. Tidy. We'll take it. But Mr. Drippy... Yes, yes, now I remember. He was the one who... Yes, he said they were very special clothes, made from fabric woven from the fibers of a sky tree, if I remember rightly. What's a sky tree? Eh, I don't know. Lovely and cuffy, extremely hard wearing, and lucky to hoop. Yeah, I said a lucky to boot, lucky to hoop. Very nice. I think the only problem would be the size. If it's you who are going to wear this outfit, dear, I'll need a few hours to make some alterations. It would look huge on you otherwise. Could you come back tomorrow morning? Of course we can, Mun. How about that, then, Ollie boy? There is Lucky. Neato. Thank you very much, ma'am. Hoo hoo hoo. A pleasure, my dear. Toodle hoo for now. Until tomorrow. Tomorrow's flipping ages away, Mun. I'd like to go and see the king right away, like, but we can't go till we've got your proper to your outfit sorted, ain't it? I guess not. What will we what will we do until tomorrow? I know. That guard in the gate said something about us getting some kind of card from a place in town, ain't it? Something Solutions, I think he said the name of the shop was. The one we just went in. The boutique. That's the owl one. Was it uh Swift Solutions? There's clever of you. That's the one. I knew it was some other kind of bird. Nice one, Ollie boy. The stores here sure do have sure do have goofy names. You reckon? They're just named after what they look like, ain't it? Anyway, let's get over to Swift Solution, shall we? By the way, the uh, three major shops in each town, the Hootique, the Swift Solutions, and the Weapon Shop, um, well, the Weapon and Armor Shop, I guess, they're all based off a of bird. I'll sh uh, if they'll let me go down here, I'm not sure if they will. Yeah, that's the, um, this right here is the Weapon Shop right here. Kind of based off a, uh, a raven or a crow. Let's see if let's see if we can't see the name in here real fast. This is uh, let's see. No. The Cotter Master. Ka, Mr. Ration's friend, but I'm not allowed to sell weapons or armor to travelers. You're going to need special permission from the king. Okay. Yeah, this is the uh, what is it? The uh, the Cotter the Cotter House weapons or something like that. Something uh, something to do with Cotter. And yeah, his his thing is um, he caws when he speaks. You know, like a raven or a crow or something like that. So yeah, again, another bird pun. Nice old-fashioned register there. Like, really old-fashioned register. And I guess we can't get any, uh, whatchamacallit, some um, new weapons for our familiars yet anyways. You could actually buy, like, a well-worn sword and a wooden sword here, but I'm not too worried about that because we already got one. And another loaf of bread. See, is anybody uh, going to show up on the mini-map yet? No. But uh, there is our destination there, the Swift Solutions. So let's get going there, shall we? Let's see, is there somebody I can show this off to real fast? I want to see if anybody's here yet. Um, I guess I guess she could work down there. Looky, there's cat people in the town. Yay! I guess if you're a furry, like an extreme furry, I guess you could uh, dig this. But uh, not really my type. What a lovely outfit! Your shirt is such a pretty shade of yellow. Yeah, all the uh, all the cat people have their little purr puns and stuff like that. So that's really nice. Yeah, the game's just chock full of puns, no matter where you go. Some people love it, some people hate it. I'm I'm mostly indifferent to it. I mean, I think they're clever enough, but I'm not I'm not gonna like uh, care about it like nonstop. And can I talk to you at all? I do worry about my boys. Every time they go out to play, they come back with fresh cuts and bruises. That sucks for them. Let's see, can we get... Uh, I think there's a few treasure chests around here somewhere, right? Ah, there we go. Ten guilders, very nice. And again, some of these will restock. So you can come back and, uh, well, find, uh, like, however many guilders in these pots every once in a while. 
and an ice cream. I think that's the one that raises magical attack, I think. Uh, let's see. Yeah, cake raises... No, cake raises magical attack. Ice cream is evasion. Okay, yeah, that's right. And pie is accuracy. Sundays are the magical defense. Chocolates are attack. And then uh, the... the um, what, what was the... The flans are for defense. Okay, so I was a little off last time, but I was mostly in the general, the general area. But here we are at the Swift Solutions. In case you don't know, a Swift is actually a type of uh, of bird. Uh, so that's where they got the name from. How you doing there, kitty cat? That shop there is Swift Solutions, where people go to ask for help if something's perturbing them. If you feel like helping a needy person or two, go and take a look at the errand board inside. Solve someone's problem, and they'll almost always reward you. Yeah, this will be a pretty nice little uh, thing to be doing throughout the game. Any uh, treasure chests sitting out in here? No? Alright, let's talk to this guy. The Taskmaster. Welcome to Swift Solutions, where those in need come to watch their worries fly away. And where those who are feeling helpful agree to perform tasks on their behalf. What sort of tasks do you mean, sir? You honestly don't know? Dear me, you really are new to this, aren't you? Well, I shall swallow my amazement and explain. Yeah, I think a Swift is a type of swallow, I think. So, yeah, there's one of his puns. Folks who are in need of assistance flock to me, hoping to find someone willing to take on their errands for them. On your travels, you're bound to run into people who are looking for help. And you'll have to decide whether or not to soothe their fluttering hearts by taking the, on the tasks they set you. Have a look at the errand board over there. On it, you'll see a list of the tasks you can take on. At Swift Solutions, you can also agree to undertake missions to eliminate specific monsters. These are known as bounty hunts. If you want to find out more, access the main menu and take a look in your journal. My journal, huh? Okay, I think I got it. Your journal will also show you how many merit stamp cards you've got. Oh, the gatekeeper mentioned something about those. I uh, don't think I have one, though. Ho oh, ho, you don't, do you? Well, that is swiftly re re remedied. Keep this merit stamp card safe. You'll need it to collect stamps when you complete tasks. Once you've filled up a few cards, you can exchange them for merit awards, which are sure to be useful on your travels. Simply visit the nearest branch of Swift Solutions, hand over your completed cards, and the awards will be yours. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Well, helping people out is all part of saving the world, Ollie boy. But before we make a start on all that do-goodery, we need to get you dressed for the job. Now, the Hoot Nanny said your outfit would be ready tomorrow. So I reckon our best plan of action is to, get, to go and get a good night's sleep down to the cat's cradle, ain't it? The journal is now accessible from the main menu. Welcome to Swift Solutions, blah blah blah. Ah, let's see what we got. Um, Let's see what any bounty hunts we got going on. Let's see. Vegetable thief. A gruffian keeps stealing produce from farmers' fields outside of town. It has to be dealt with quickly. It's nearly harvest time. And for doing this reward, we get... Or for doing this uh, this bounty hunt, we'll get ourselves a well-worn sword, which we can sell since we're not going to need it, uh, 50 guilders, and two stamps for our card. So that's not too bad. And we can see our stamp card, but we don't really have anything there. Uh, these right here are the merit awards you can grab uh, for filling up certain amounts of cards. Uh, so, like, so for this one right here, you would need two full stamps... Uh, two full cards, so you'd need a total of 20 stamps uh, across two cards, pretty much. So each one does uh, specific things. Um, this one's going to be unlocked later, and then this row right here will be unlocked once we got this entire row uh, completely unlocked. And then the third row will be unlocked once you get the second row completely um, filled out. So you have to buy everything in the previous row to access the next row. But anyways, let's see what we got here. Um, allows you to jump by pressing circle while running. Not very useful, but a whole lot of fun. Yeah, not very useful at all. What this does is, you remember when you were a kid and you were running around, you did like a little skip in the air? That's pretty much what this does. You just uh, do a little skip in the air. The only thing that it's really good for is, um, like if you're in battle and there's a golden glim, and you're trying to get to it a little bit faster, you can jump up like an eighth of a foot in the air and get it a little bit faster than you normally would, but other than that, it's just there for no good reason, really. I mean, I thought, I th first time I saw it, I thought, oh, jumping, that means you're going to be able to, like, jump on rocks and get to higher places. Yeah, no, not even close. Okay, uh, Jack Be Nimble allows you to run a little faster out on the hills and plains of the wide world. I think that's a 10% speed increase out on the world map. Let me see if I can't find that. Um, 
I know it's something like 10%. It might be it might be five. I don't know. Uh, let's see where you at, dude. Um, Uno memento per four. Let's see where you at. Ah, there we go. Twenty uh, percent. Okay, so it's so it's not that bad. You run twenty percent faster. Let's see. Uh, Jack be nimble. That's no. There we go. Little Jack Horner occasionally makes your foraging efforts more fruitful. Uh, what that does is you have a twenty percent chance of getting a additional item when you when you're getting stuff from the sparkling points um, out on the world map and in towns. Actually, I'm not, I'm not sure if it does count for towns, but I know on the world map at least, like, like you might get like two vials of spring water instead of just the one. Uh, I, I don't know if it applies in town, but it's, it's reasonably useful because you might get a second item. There you go. Let's see. Makes it easier for you to sneak up on enemies from behind. So basically, enemies just... Uh, you know, you know how we kept running up to enemies and we'd get like an eighth of an inch behind them and they'd be like, oh, I see you, you can't surprise me. Basically, it'll make it a little harder for that to happen. They'll, they won't see you right as you're on their butthole pretty much and you have a better chance of um, surprising them pretty much. Let's see. Causes an additional restorative glimpse to appear during battle. Uh, basically, it just makes more glimpses appear. So that's, that's one of my favorite ones simply for the fact that, well, it'll keep your MP and HP up a little bit better. So... Very nice. I mean, that does cost the uh, two, two stamps compared to the one of pretty much everything else. So, pretty much how I'm going to be doing this is I'm going to probably get um, if, if I can manage to get two cards before we finish up with uh, Ding Dong Dell, fantastic. I'll get the uh, jackpot, and then if I manage to find another one, um, I'll probably get uh, what is it? Uh, either Jack Be Nimble or the Little Jack Corner card right here. But if I can't if I can't get two full cards, then I'll just get one of these and save up for the other one a little later. But if I can, I want that jackpot. Cause that's that's reason that, that's that's pretty good in my opinion. So that's very nice. All right. So did we already accept it? All right. You have agreed to undertake the vegetable thief bounty hunt. The details can be found in your journal. All right. Very nice. Let's see. And we can't claim any merit awards because well we don't have any. So oh well. All right, let's check out the errand board real fast. New errands are now available. All right, let's see. A Grimalkin standing near the Hutique in Ding Dong Dell looks somewhat troubled. Go and see what's wrong with the Grimalkin. Okay. Yeah, the cat people, they're called Grimalkins. I don't know if that's a reference to anything, but okay. Okay. A female Grimalkin near the Cottermaster store in Ding Dong Dell seems to be deep in thought. Go and see what's troubling her. Okay. The Ding Dong Dell mother looks like she's worried about something. All right, there we go. So totally, with the bounty hunt, we'll get three, five, seven, nine stamp cards. That's not too bad. And I think we can do most of these right now. And if you press the select button, that'll show you all the ones that are complete. And select press it again. Those are the ones that are currently being undertaken. So, and again, it just shows like all of them. So not too bad. All right, details of the new errands have been added to your journal. So for that. We have our journal now, and now we can check up. Um, we can check up on the story, so that's pretty nice. So if you ever like come back to the game after not playing for like a year, you'd be like, "Oh, there we go. This is the latest one. I know where I gotta go now." Let's see the errand board. They can uh, tell you the general location of the uh, of the people, and then here's our bounty hunts off to the, bounty hunts off to the side right there. So that's pretty nice. And let's see. Uh, it's Telling stone, I don't think you tell anything else, do you? No. And if we check the map, see those, uh, see how the blue dots are glowing, uh, white? Those are the people that have, um, those are the people that have, uh, quest, quests for us. Or, they're the people from the arid board, pretty much. So, very nice. Alright, let's go see if we can't, uh, go take care of some of these right now. We're probably not gonna take care of all of them, but we'll try to get a couple of them done at least. At the very least, we'll accept the quest for each one. All right, the first one, easy enough, right here. Goodness me, whatever, wherever have those little rascals run off to now? Is something the matter, man? It's my boys. The three of them are forever running off and not coming back. I know they're just playing, but I can't help thinking they'll hurt themselves. You worry about them a lot, huh? Yes, I do. And today they're even later than ever. I'm beside myself. Ah, mother's life is never easy, no matter where you go, eh? 
You don't have a spare moment, do you? Could you go and find my boys for me? Sure, why not? I'm sorry to put you to so much trouble, but if you could let me know when you found them, I'd be ever so grateful. No problem, lady. No problem. Alright, let's go accept the quest from the Grimalkins if we can find them. See, she, she, one of them should be like right down. Yeah, there we go. I think that's the one we actually talked to earlier. Hmm, which part did I put into the game? Is everything okay? Hmm, well, it's my precious treasure, you see. I can't remember which pot I hit it in. Gee, that's tough. What sort of treasure is it? My grandmother's red earring. It's such a pretty color. You couldn't lend me a paw and help me look for it, could you? Sure, why not? You will? Perfect. It is one of the pots you see around town. Inside one of the pots, huh? Leave it to me. You're a perfect gentleman. I think we can't. I don't think we can actually get to the uh, the pot that it's in right now. I know it's not none of these. It's uh, I think it's in the area up there, and we can't get to up there just yet. So, oh well. Yeah, I don't think it's in any of these at least. And we got one more quest to accept, so let's go do that real fast. And then we'll head off to the um, what is it? The the uh, cat's cradle, which is the end of the game. And yeah, those are going to be in all the towns too. So, that's very nice. And here's the last person we gotta help. Hmm, yo, it's not, still not quite pretty enough. Doing a bit of decorating, is it? Well, I always say you can't beat a flower, too. Brighter things up to no end, they do. How clever of you, I was just thinking about using some flowers. I've tried to make my door very prettier, you see. You are? What kind of flowers were you thinking of using? Hmm, well, now, I want something nice and bright. And I need some fresh, clean water to give them, too. Mm, yeah, I know, you can help me. Can you spare the time? Pretty, please? Okay. Oh, thank you. You're a perfect gentleman. Now I need to bring me two plains wort flowers and two bottles of spring water. Alright? Yes, ma'am. Oh, but where can we find them? Hmm, yes. Neither can be purchased from the shops. You have to go and look for them out among the rolling hills. Hmm, yo, don't worry. They positively twinkle. I dare say you've seen twinkling spots on the ground outside town, haven't you? We'll be sure to investigate them when you stumble upon one. You'll find all manner of precious things. Hmm, yo, no more thing. Once you forge from a particular spot, it won't twinkle as it did before. But never fear, both its produce and its twinkle will return just in time. Or in time. Got it. Thank you, ma'am. We'll head out, out, out of town to keep our eyes peeled for some of these, uh, twinklies. Tidy. Let's go up forward to them, shall we? Thank you very much. You're a per perfect little gentleman. Now, if you've been foraging like I have, and going around to the twinkling spots anyways, you already have these. So, let's turn it in. Hmm, ma, you found it all already. Yes, ma'am. Are these the things you were looking for? Oh, yes, perfect. Just perfect. I'm ever so grateful, dear. Here, a little present to say thank you. Yeah, we get a wooden shield and 50 guilders. Nice. And we got two stamps for a card. Very nice. And... If you remember correctly, our little mite can equip shields. So there we go. So now he's got a now he's got a little bit of a defense boost. Very nice. I'll take it. Well, let's see. Um, actually, if I can if I can go outside, that'd be great. Cause then I could just uh, well, that'd be awesome. That means I wouldn't have to go through the, uh, the cutscene at the end yet. Perfect. All right. Nice. I wasn't sure if they'd let me. And you can see the uh, bounty hunt right there, down on the uh, beach. So next time, we'll go after that bounty hunt, and then we'll go to the uh, Cat's Cradle Inn, rest up, and see if we can help some more people. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Have a good night.